Thank you for watching this video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to enter vendor credit uh, due to wrong pricing without affecting inventory stock quantity. So this has to do with uh, without affecting inventory quantity when price, uh, you know, you have a price change from a vendor and you're getting uh, vendor credit. All right, this video I'm going to do for both. Uh, first, I'm going to do for desktop and I'm going to do for uh, uh, QuickBooks Online. So it's going to be for both. Uh, QuickBooks Online for Plus Plan. Uh, okay, so first I'm going to go to the uh, uh, desktop in here. You know, let's say you bought some product. I'm going to enter a bill. And let's say this is from uh, supplier, let's say uh, A2 supplier, let's say. Quick add. I'm going to do quick add. Okay, so now I'm going to, to buy inventory, you use items, right? And let's say this is the uh, uh, inventory part. Let's say this is computer chips. And you bought it for uh, 80 bucks a piece. And let's say you bought it for uh, about 100 quantity, right? So uh, so now you bought it for this uh, $80. I'm just going to save this. Okay. I'm just going to save you. So your total, uh, so eight thousand dollars, right? A uh, hundred times eighty-eight thousand. So your bill is for eight thousand dollars, and you know this is on, let's say seven thirty-one. Okay. So now, uh, later on, uh, they made a mistake or they have a, a price reduction and they give you a uh, uh, vendor credit. Okay. So you go to let's say. A, the price went down by five bucks a piece. Okay, so it was uh, eight thousand. We bought for eighty dollars a piece. Now it went down five bucks. Now it's just, you know, uh, went down to seventy-five bucks a piece. So now you want to get five hundred dollars credit. And uh, so in this case, if you use items, it's not it's, it'll it's not going to work because it will also change your change the quantity, right? So you got to go in here choose expenses and in here I'm gonna select one account here uh, I'm gonna select uh, let's say I'm gonna create one in one account here uh, I'm just gonna call this uh, price adjustment and it'd be part of cost of goods sold Okay, so and 100 times uh, 5 bucks is 500 bucks, right? So you got uh, credit for $500. So this is a $5 price adjustment. So it's from, went down from 80 bucks a piece to 75 bucks a piece. Okay, so let me open this one, right? Okay, so you got $500 credit, uh, and you're going to save this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Vendor uh, Center, and, uh, you know, this one. I'm going to adjust the bill. Okay, so in bill, we have, uh, you know, $80 under items, right? And the bill amount is... Uh, 8,000 so you don't want to adjust that one so it has to leave your bill amount $8,000 so I'm going to adjust to this to 75 bucks a piece okay seventy-five dollars a piece and I'm going to go to expense tab and I'm going to use that price adjustment and this is $500 right so this is price adjustment So it's basically from went from five dollar adjustment, right? It's five dollar per unit adjustment. Okay, so now this 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 total bill amount is still eight thousand dollars. So in here under items, you know, it now it's uh, your cost adjusted to seventy five dollars, and in here it's, it's you know five hundred dollars. So still the same and save it okay so 
so this is how you have to do it. Let's say this credit, uh, it won't happen the same day. Let's say this happened uh, a week later, let's say. Let's say uh, this is on 8. Save and close. Okay, so now as you can see here, uh, so the accounts payable, this is $8,000. The invoice and the bill is still 8000 right? And then you got a credit for uh, uh, $500. And so you, you owe uh, still owe seven five hundred dollars. So you this is how much you owe now. And so if you want to pay it, just basically you can pay bills right. And select that vendor. And select the credit. This is five hundred bucks, right? So now you're paying seven five hundred dollars. That's it. Okay. So this is on desktop so you'll, you'll have to do the same on QuickBooks Online so in here I'm gonna go to bill under vendors bill right okay so I'm gonna select to a vendor A2 supplier let's say and in here you go to items detail right and select that uh, computer chip which is this and I'm gonna buy uh, 100 so at this point uh, on uh, let's say uh, 731 it's the uh, $8,000 bill right okay $8,000 but at this point uh, you know you, you paid eight uh, you, you bought it for 80 bucks okay I'm gonna save this save and close and now a week later uh, they reduce the price so you're gonna issue vendor credit same supplier and this time you're going to go in here, price adjustment is $500. And let's say this is uh, a week later. Let's say this is on 8. Okay, so this is uh, uh, $5 price adjustment, uh, you know, uh, from $80 to. $75. Okay, so that's what happened, and I'm gonna save this, and I'm gonna go to uh, your uh, original bill, which is this, right? Okay, so you don't want to change the bill deck, you don't want to change anything up with this one. All we want to do is select the price adjustment in here right and uh, get the five hundred dollars and in here just change the rate to new rate which is seventy five dollars so seventy five hundred eight thousand still okay so save and close I'm gonna just save it alright and let's say I want to pay this bill make payment okay as you can see here you will see both in here five hundred dollars I mean eight thousand dollars original bill and vendor credit five thousand so you're paying only sign five hundred dollars. So I'm gonna save and close this one. Okay, so it's paid, right? Now if you go to the vendor uh, center for A2 supplier, as you can see here, uh, you know it started out with eight thousand dollars, and you got the vendor credit, and you paid the bill, and total amount due is zero. So that's uh, how you need to. Uh, uh, adjust when you have uh, uh, you know vendor credit due wrong pricing or price went down it happens uh, without affecting inventory stock quantity so if you go to reports let's say this is the one inventory valuation report valuation summary and let's say I'm going to change this to all date so this is the one here computer chips See the quantity is 100, uh, 100, and asset value is 7,500, and average cost is 75 dollars now. Uh, it's adjusted, so it comes out pretty good. All right, so uh, thank you for watching again, and visit our website. Our website is newkbo.com. This is for uh, QuickBooks Online, and for desktop is newquickbooks.com. And subscribe to our YouTube. You have two channels. One is New QBO, New QBO, and the other one is. Uh, uh, new quick box. Thank you. Bye.